Farhan Akhtar is an Indian actor, director, screenwriter, playback singer, producer, and television host who works in Hindi films. Born in Mumbai to screenwriters Javed Akhtar and Honey Irani, he grew up under the influence of the Indian film industry. Actor, after establishing a production company named Excel Entertainment along with Raich Sidwani in 1999, made his directorial debut with Dil Shadahai and received widespread critical acclaim for portraying modern Indian youth in the film, which won the National Award for Best Hindi Film and the Film Fair Award for Best Film. Following this, he directed the cult war film Lakshya and made his Hollywood debut through the soundtrack of Bride and Prejudice, for which he and sister Zoya Akhtar served as lyricists. Next came the commercially successful Don, his third directorial venture, post which he directed a short film titled Positive to spread awareness on HIV AIDS. Although he initiated his acting career with a delayed release in the drama The Fakir of Venice, Actor's official screen debut came with the musical drama Rock On, for which he won a second national award for Best Feature Film in Hindi as producer, he wrote the dialogues and produced for the critical and commercial success Zindajai and A. Mileji Dabara which won him the Best Supporting Actor, the same year, he directed a sequel to Don titled Don 2, which remains his highest grossing film till date. Actor then played Milka Singh in the biopic Bag Milka Bag, earning him the Film Fair Award for Best Actor. Later, he received praise for starring in the ensemble family comedy drama Dil Dad and Do and the crime thriller Wazir. He has since headlined the dramas Lucknow Central, The Sky is Pink and Tufan. Early in Personal Life Farhan Actor was born in Mumbai the second child of screenwriters Javed Akhtar and Honey Irani. He has one elder sister, the writer-director Zoya Akhtar. He was very young when his parents divorced, his father married actress Shabana Azmi in 1984. His mother retained the family home in Bandra Bandstand and raised her children there. Actor studied at Maynak G. Cooper School in Mumbai and then pursued a law degree at H.R. College also in Mumbai. Actor's father, a Muslim by birth, is a socialist and an atheist by belief, actor's mother, born into an Irani Zoroastrian family, is indifferent to religion, and was content to let her children grow up with no religion. Actor has stated that he is an atheist. Actor's family hails from Karabat in the Ovid region of present-day Uttar Pradesh, and he comes from a long lineage of Urdu poets. He is the grandson of Urdu poet Jan Nisar Akhtar and great-grandson of Urdu poet Mustar Khairabadi. On his mother's side, Akhtar is the nephew of the child actress Daisy Irani and the first cousin of choreographer Farah Khan and Sajid Khan. Akhtar married Adhuna Babani in 2000, after being in a relationship with her for three years. They first met during the filming of his directorial debut Dil Shadahai which also marked Babani's debut as a Bollywood hairstylist. The couple have two daughters named Shakya and Akira. On January 21, 2016, they announced their separation after 16 years of marriage. Their divorce was finalized on April 24, 2017, with Babani having custody of their children. Actor started dating Vijay Shabani Dandekar in 2018. On February 19, 2022, they got married in a non-religious ceremony at his Kandala farmhouse. Career Actor worked as an apprentice in film distribution and direction for Yash Chopra's Lamhi when he was 17 years old and later moved to an advertisement production house named Script Shop to spend an approximate three years there. He also assisted Pankaj Parashar as a director in Himalay Putra before launching himself into direction and writing. Directing, writing, and producing. Actor made his writing and directorial debut with the critically acclaimed film Dil Shadahai, produced by Excel Entertainment, a production company he established along with Raich Sidwani in 1999. It was shot over a period of three months in Sydney, Goa, and Mumbai. Due to its acclaim, he called it a turning point in his career. 
The film dealt with the lives of westernized urban youth in Mumbai. Actor had written the script based on his trips to Goa and New York City, as well as a narration of a story outlined by a friend of his. It received international critical acclaim and attained an iconic status, with actor receiving credit for starting a new wave in Indian cinema. Critic Zia As-Salam praised actor's direction and commented for the Hindu, in his maiden venture, Javed actor's son shows enough glimpses of his pedigree to indicate that promise will attain fulfillment sooner than later. Various award shows conferred accolades on the film and nominated it for several categories. The year's National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Hindi for 2002 was won by the film. It was also screened at the International Film Festival of India, the Palm Springs International Film Festival, and the Austin Film Festival. In the same year, he and his sister Zoya Actor assisted their father in writing the English lyrics of a song in Lagan, for which the soundtrack was scored by A. R. Raman. Actor's next project was Lakshya, a film about an aimless youngster finally setting a goal for himself, starring Amitabhite Bajchan, Rithik Roshan, and Prady Zinta. It was shot in Ladakh, Dehradun, and Mumbai and marked the beginning of the collaborations between actor and Roshan. He had to research the army before writing the script and directing the venture. The theme of the film, as stated by actor, was about finding oneself. He also believed that if the same characters and situation were set elsewhere, the main core of the story would remain the same as the film was not about war, as it had been reported. Post-release the film failed to make a mark at the box office and became a commercial failure. Parul Gupta of the Times of India gave it a negative review and explained that it's hard to reconcile to such triviality when it comes from Farhan actor, considered the ultimate symbol of cool in Hindi filmdom. On the contrary, Manish Gajar from BBC wrote, in his positive review, young Farhan actor, proves yet again that he is one of the finest directors Bollywood has to date. He has paid full attention to the script and the technical aspects, giving rise to a polished product. Meanwhile, actor wrote the English lyrics of Gurinder Chadha's Hollywood film Bride and Prejudice, along with his sister, Zoya Actor, after being recommended by his father. The music for the film was composed by Anu Malik and consisted of a mixture of Hindi songs. West Side Story, Fiddler on the Roof and Grease. In 2006, actor directed, produced, and wrote the screenplay of Don starring Shah Rukh Khan in the title role alongside Priyanka Chopra, a remake of Don, starring Amitabhite Bachchan. It marked his first project holding the status of a remake. The character of Don became iconic and popular. Despite this, he noted that he did not mean to be a torchbearer of the remake brigade and did not feel comfortable with being credited for the trend of remakes in the film industry. The film released on October 20, 2006 and was declared a hit at the box office, grossing around 1.05 billion worldwide. It became widely known for its script lines. However, critics predominantly condemned actors' direction and screenplay. Taran Adarsh of Bollywood Hungama said actor had climbed the ladder as far as craftsmanship is concerned but despite a ready-made classic at his disposal, the storyteller just doesn't get it right this time. In 2007, actor produced the film Honeymoon Travels Private Limited, directed by debutante Ria Makagdi and starring Abhay Dial, Minish Shalomba, Shabana Azmi, and Bowman Irani. The music for the film was composed by Vishal Shekhar, marking their first collaboration with him. Actor was supposed to make his acting debut with the project, but he had to be replaced by Abhay Dial as he was involved with Don. The film was financed and funded by Exim Bank. This was the first time Excel Entertainment collaborated with a different director as all their previous projects had been involving actor as a director. The story of the film revolved around six couples who went to Goa on a honeymoon. The film opened up on February 23 and received mixed reviews from critics, and ended up with an average box office result. In the same year, actor directed Positive, 
a film produced by Sharnas Italia and Frenzy Kodeji, starring Bowman Irani and Shabana Azmi. It was a short film running for 12 minutes. Dealing with a family's attitude towards a person suffering from HIV-AIDS, the film was shot in Mumbai and aimed at creating awareness about the problem. It also introduced Arjun Mathur in the film industry. Speaking about the purpose of the project, actor stated that just as a social stigma, many people believe that an HIV patient should be isolated. They also have certain misconceptions about dealing with the disease. And since India has a lot of joint families, it becomes very important for them to understand the value of support to the person who has acquired this disease. This is exactly what Positive talks about. The film had its background score composed by Ram Sampath but had no soundtrack. It was a part of the AIDS JAAGO, a series of four short films, directed by Myra Nair, Santosh Sivan, Vishal Bardwa, and himself, in a joint initiative of Myra Nair's Marabai Films, Voluntary Organizations Avahan and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Actors' first project in 2011 was the drama thriller Game, directed by Abhinadeo. The lead cast consisted of Abhishek Bachchan, Kangana Ranat, Bowman Irani, and Jimmy Shergill. He wrote the script and produced the venture. The film received highly negative reviews after release, with critics panning almost all the aspects of it. At the box office, it had a poor opening, and later resulted in giving losses for the distributors, due to a heavily negative word of mouth. It was described as a washout by trade analysts. Later that year, actor wrote, produced and directed Don 2, a sequel to his 2006 Don. It marked his return to direction after a gap of nearly five years. His decision of making a sequel was explained by him in an interview, I am wary of sequels having to be made. With Don 2 I could finally make an action thriller the way I wanted to. Good story, classic action, and simple plot which has one goal and work towards it effectively and dramatically. The film was a major success in India and went on to become the year's highest grossing Bollywood production abroad with a worldwide gross of 2.1 billion. It received mixed to positive reviews from critics, with Khalid Mohammed stating, Throughout, you can't help feeling that Farhan actor could have made three far more valuable films out of the budget squandered on this thriller where cars are smashed as if they were teacups. Next year, actor produced and wrote the script of the neo-noir thriller Talash, The Answer Lies Within. His production work was followed by the comedy films, Fuckery and Bang Istan, Bar Bar Dek Ho, Rays, and Fuckery Returns. Acting and Singing In 2008, actor made his solo acting and singing debut in a musical film titled Rock On, for which he wrote the script and also produced. The film was directed by Abhishek Kapoor. Prakadesai, Arjun Rampal and Parab Kohli CEO starred along with him. As he had been learning guitar ever since the start of his directing career, he had been well versed with it and used it for the film. The role played by him was that of Aditya, lead singer of the rock band Magic. He sang five songs for the soundtrack album. The film was acclaimed by critics and received positive reviews upon release. Gaurav Malani of the Economic Times wrote that the film seemed to be clearly designed by Farhan Akhar as his own acting debut and he doesn't let himself down. Lending voice to all his songs helps him to get into his character with effortless ease. One could certainly overlook the lisp in his dialogue delivery. Manish Gajar of BBC wrote of his performance, Director turned actor, Farhan actor surprises all with his superb, flawless performance, transforming from a hippie-style lead singer to a subdued, dismal workaholic banker. Actor received several accolades for his debut performance. The film, in addition won the National Award for Best Feature Film in Hindi. However, it did not create an impact at the box office and turned out to be an average grocer. After refusing an offer to sing a song for A.R. Rahman's album Blue, actor acted in, 
and produced his sister Zoya's directorial and written debut Luck by Chance, alongside Konkana Sen Sharma in the lead role. He was cast in the film after being deemed as a perfect choice for it. The story of the film revolved around a struggling actor who arrives in Mumbai to become a film star. It was released on January 30, 2009. Though failing to do well at the box office and being declared a flop, the film received highly positive reviews from critics. Neil Jenslinger from The New York Times said, It is Mr. Actor whose understated performance holds together this far-ranging, cameo-filled film. He manages to remain sympathetic even while wreaking romantic havoc. Rajiv Masand noted, Farhan actor delivers a simple enough likable performance that is just what the film required no showy flourishes, no loud outbursts, just a straight-off spontaneous act that works like a dream. Following luck by chance, actor acted in a film titled The Fakir of Venice, which was initially scheduled to release before Rock On and was supposed to be his acting debut. Due to several delays, it was premiered at the 2009 Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. It was written and directed by Anand Surapur, and accepted by actor after he described its script as very powerful, while emphasizing that it touches upon weaknesses and confusions in all human beings. Before release, it premiered at the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles, and the Venice Film Festival at the Arclight Hollywood. Kirk Honeycutt of The Hollywood Reporter praised the film and felt that actor, a producer, director, and writer making his film debut here as an actor, is talented and handsome enough and with looks that could translate into any number of ethnicities to have a huge career ahead of him. The film was released theatrically in India on February 8, 2019. Actor acted in and produced his next film Karthik Calling Karthik, a psychological thriller directed by Vijay Lalwani. He played Karthik, an introvert character, starring alongside Deepika Padukone for the first time. Preparation for the role involved working on the Rubik's Cube, which he learned from the director. The film received mixed reviews and praise for actors acting from critics with Sukanya Verma highlighting that he conveys the anxiety, simplicity, and frailty of Karthik even when the script isn't doing it for him. Perhaps it's his innate filmmaker instinct. The film had a good opening at the box office, as it was targeted towards the youth of the multiplexes. However, it failed to continue on its business and went on to become a below-average grocer. Actor produced and appeared as one of the three leads in his sister, Zoya actors coming of age films in Dijayana Mileji Dabara along with Rithik Roshan, Abhay Dial, Katrina Kaif, and Kaki Koeklin. He was also credited as the scriptwriter for the film. He was the first actor to be cast in the film, and described his role as a fun character and a guy who for the longest time takes nothing seriously. His real life father, Javed actor, wrote poetry for the film which he performs as a voiceover. His performance was favorably received by critics, with Sheikayas of Rediff.com highlighting his lines as gentle, they won't make you rofl, they are more like tender dig in the ribs. Kaveri Bamze of India Today called his acting sensitive, soulful, further saying that he was perfectly capable of reading out his father's poetry. The film made 1.53 billion worldwide and was declared a commercial success at the box office. It also became one of the highest grossing Bollywood films overseas, earning around 7.25 million US dollars. It won two national awards, the best choreography and the best audiography. Following Don 2, his next, a biopic on Indian athlete Milka Singh, popularly known as the Flying Sikh was entitled Bag Milka Bag. He essayed the role with such integrity that it set the standard for other actors considering to play titular protagonists in biopics. Actor swept all awards that year for Best Actor as did the film for Best Film. It also claimed the National Award for Best Popular Film providing wholesome entertainment.
he also had to prepare his looks to depict a 17-year-old army recruit and endure an on-the-spot preparation at an army cantonment. In 2014, actor acted for the romantic comedy Shitty K Side Effects alongside Vidya Balan, a film directed by Saket Choudhury and produced by Pradish Nandi. It was a sequel to PRK Side Effects. Next year, actor featured in the supporting role in his sister Zoya actors Dil Dad and Du, an ensemble comedy drama starring Anil Kapoor, Shefali Shah, Priyanka Chopra, Ranveer Singh, and Anushka Sharma. In 2016, actor played the lead role of an anti terrorist squad officer in Bijoi Nambiar's Wazir. It was his first action role as an actor and for which he went through intense physical training and put on 8 kilograms of weight. Raja Sen in his review called him pretty good early on in the film, but his performance starts to unravel once the film hits hysterical gear and he is required to do more than frown. Actor also sang the duet at Rangi Yari with Amitabhite Bachchan for Wazir. The film was a box office success. Actor's final release of the year was the rock musical drama Rock On 2, a sequel to the 2008 critically acclaimed Rock On. He reprised his role of Aditya Shroff, the lead singer of his band. The film was actor's attempt to bring Northeast India into popular culture. In 2017, actor essayed the role of a Dawood Ibrahim like Mafia Don Maxud in Daddy, CO starring Arjun Rampal. His next release was the ensemble drama Lucknow Central, CO starring Diana Pentei, Gippy Gruel and Deepak Dobriel. The film was about a prison escape drama planned by a group of prisoners who also form a music band and was inspired by a real incident. Lucknow Central was released on September 15, 2017 and met with mixed reviews and financial failure. Actors next release, The Sky is Pink. CO starring Priyanka Chopra, Zaira Wasim, and Rohit Saraf, premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival and received a 15-minute standing ovation from the audience at the Roy Thompson Hall. The film received critical acclaim, but failed to do well commercially. Actor received training for boxing for his next release Tufan, a sports drama, directed by Reiki Shom Prakash Mehra which premiered on May 21, 2021 on Amazon Prime Video. Bollywood Bubble gave the film four stars saying the movie interlaces love and sport while throwing a flurry of punches on bigotry. Non-film work Actor appeared as one of the nine judges in the beauty pageant Femina Miss India. He was the judge on the first season of the dance reality show Knock Bally. He hosted a TV show on NDTV Imagine called Oi. It's Friday. In the same year. He has endorsed several brands as a part of his career, especially after the release of Zindajai and A. Mileji Dabera. These include Hindustan Unilever's water purifier product titled Puriat, Chivas Regal, Britannia Nutri Choice Biscuits, Inducent Bank, Dulux Paint, Titan Industries and Croson Plus 2. Men Against Rape and Discrimination, or MARD, is a social campaign launched by actor. The idea came to him when, in August 2012, Pallavi Prakayastha, a lawyer by profession, was sexually assaulted and then killed by her residence's watchman. Filmography Discography 2019 Echoes Songs from the Album Rearview Mirror Seagull Solitary Childhood My Friend Who Was Why Couldn't It Be Me If Love Isn't Enough Pain or Pleasure Bird on a Wire Be All You Can Be Let's Be Friends Again Don't Say It's The End Rearview Mirror Ash House Mix Seagull Ash House Mix